Right. Uh, do you think dark force or dark UX is much stronger? <laughs> Big, you know, Instagram reels uh, yes. than putting something highly positive. Um, depending think, on the product. Yeah, I think so. Yes, yes, I think yeah. so. I don't do dark UX. <laughs> no, an awful lot, but but yeah, I I think it can be. It can be. But then it just ends up in frustration, doesn't it? It ends it up as in frustration for the user and the customer and then we know what the end result of that is so you know i mean there's a, there's a few companies are e-commerce companies very large ones who i won't name any names that have been you know you you go onto their websites uh, and you can see straight away there's things like for example countdown timers and the sale is going to end at this point and you'll only get i i don't know and i just think yeah but we know that timer starts again <laughs> At the only, end of one, oh. only one product left only one left uh, yeah, exactly. five people are doing this at this time 20 people are doing this product at this time yes, so exactly. this yeah i mean and you know what, actually there are there are some that there that is a good way of using you know it's that fear of missing out isn't it that fomo yeah uh, you know and i i can see exactly why it's happening and i'm not sure if that is wholly dark ux to be perfectly honest it might genuinely be the case that if i want